What's up guys? D-Dubs Garage here, back again, and we're going back to the MG, getting a lot of stuff done recently. Ran into a couple mishaps here and there. The main thing we're going to be focusing on today is sealing up this engine. It's crusty on the inside, so it's uh, going to need a couple oil changes. I think I'll do two to start, but uh, I'm going to show you something. We got a little mishap to, to actually start the, the day a, a little bit ago, so Got to change some parts out and I'll show you guys that right now, but uh, let's hop into it and let's get this old crusty engine a new lease on life. Let's do it. So I was going to do the timing cover seal guys on the front and obviously that's a big bolt on there. I had a breaker bar on the other side and I had my, my uh, engine stand points to lift basically pretty spread out on this thing. I think I was down low here, there, and then up top. So unfortunately that put a ton of stress on this plate and somebody had actually brazed it back together before. You can see where I tried to weld it, which uh, ended up just being a foolish idea, but uh, it completely cracked on those brazes. And uh, I was like, oh my God, what was that noise? And then I saw the engine was tilting down. So we actually got a new one off of eBay. Only, I'm only seeing a very slight difference between the two so far. And that's that this just has one hole there. I'm actually going to drill it so that I can still get my uh, engine stand bracket on there. And then also these caps that basically cover the back of the camshaft. You guys can see that right there are uh, slightly different sizes. Uh, the new one or new old stock one that I got, this one's a little bit bigger than that. I think it should still fit. Uh, hopefully we don't run into too many issues with that. But uh, right now I'm going to get these things, this thing cleaned up and uh, actually get it ready to put on there because there is obviously a seal that goes around the back here. So I have this all wire brushed. I'm gonna clean the oil off of it. And uh, hopefully we'll at least seal the back up, get it back on the stand because right now the engine is upside down on the hoist. And uh, then from there, do the sump, front timing cover. Hopefully this time we can get that bolt off without breaking anything. And uh, then little exhaust flange. And from there, I have some other things I gotta knock out. So. Another big day, guys. Glad you're here for the ride. Let's get going. Got the new plate on there, looking okay. As you guys could see before, I put a little bit of silicone on the cap, fits fine. I'm happy with the gasket. I got everything as clean as I possibly could. Really the main thing I'm worried about is just that this seals. Um, so the gasket around there is good and then the silicone around the cap is okay. So now we're actually gonna figure out a different way to put this on the stand, just so that we don't risk cracking this plate because putting it say down here and then even up here, even though that spreads the weight, it puts a ton of stress basically on this fulcrum right here. So that'll basically make the plate want to snap again. Obviously we want to avoid that. So I'm going to actually cut new threads onto the long bolts that I have here. And we're going to go ahead and just use basically bolts that only go into the engine. That way we'll be supporting it fine. So let's go ahead and do it. Another big step done there, got the back plate on and then basically got the bolts into the engine block itself. Three of them except for one, I think that's going to be okay because it's kind of in line with the block. 
So got the weight transferred better. Hopefully this plate doesn't crack. Uh, I think right now we're gonna go ahead and seal the sump up. I'm gonna do that and then we'll go ahead and do the front timing cover. But big steps here guys, big steps. So oil pan is back on. It comes with four different gaskets that you have to make work. As you can see, I used a ton of RTV. I actually had to cut down the cork. That's basically what they use to seal on the main caps in the back. Uh, but looking at it here, I'm very happy with that. Looks like it should seal up right there around the crank. And uh, in the front, same thing. Can't see it as well, but I'm pretty confident it should be good. So I'm actually gonna leave the engine upside down and uh, let the RTV dry overnight, just in case I don't want any oil getting on any of that stuff before it's dry. So we're gonna leave the engine upside down like this and then go ahead and do the front timing cover seal and then also this gasket right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get after that right now, but uh, I'm happy with the sump and how it looks. I got things as clean as I could in there and then hopefully doing a couple oil changes, flushing it through should be good. Another thing guys, here's a reason it was leaking too. These are the old uh, main cap seals for the oil pan. You can just see they are rock hard and not doing their job anymore. So always good to just reseal an engine if you have it out of a car. It's one of those while you're in there sort of things. So we got the oil pan on there. I'm happy with that. Let's move on to the timing cover. <laughs> 